Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we are going to jump right into our girl Lola. We got some parts to throw on her. And also, you guys remember from... I damn near lost you. <laughs> but if you guys remember from the last video, we got our roll cart all set up. And we're going to try to work out of this thing solely. Um, and obviously with some help from our friends... DeWalt in Milwaukee in the jump box there, but that's how I travel with those. But anyway, let's uh, let's jump into the video and I'll, I'll show you what we got going today. So what we have today here is we are going to be putting a half inch fitting on our CP3 from Fleece. Um, I got a CP3 sitting here just to make life a little bit easier. Put some light on it, make it a little nicer. Um, so when you're looking at the CP3 in the truck, your FPR sits right here. Um, and then right here you have this uh, factory 3 8 fitting. We're going to be switching that over to half inch because we are also going to be doing away with... Focus, darling. We're going to be doing away with the factory fuel filter and fuel filter head. Um, it's kind of a double-edged sword. And, and I say that because uh, fuel, uh, fuel filtration is key. Now, yes, this truck does have an air dog on it, um, but I don't like deleting that factory fuel filter. Um, it has the fuel heater in it. It has uh, a water and fuel sensor, which, yes, I know they're problematic. Um, the whole reason why I'm removing this is because this one's problematic even after a rebuild. Um, this has a, a knockoff aftermarket replacement unit on it. Um, I didn't realize that until I rebuilt it, so it's leaking like a sieve. We're going to put the OEM one on. Anyway, I like having that final stage of filtration because um, you can, you really, you can never have too much, especially when you're, um, you know, it, like Lola here, when you're running uh, a bigger injector, when you're running a bigger CP3, you know, I've, I've got money into this fuel system. But being that this is a competition truck and I don't really drive it on the street that much, although I do intend on doing a little bit more street driving with it just to enjoy it. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming. Um, hang on. We're going to be coming off of that line right there, tying into it. Um, and we are going to be deleting um, the fuel line running through the Fickham as well. So we're going to come right off of here and we're going to go right into the CP3 just to make it a direct uh, one shot. Again, it's a competition truck. I generally, no, I don't. I don't like doing that um, I, I really I don't recommend it um, but again this thing is it's it's moving back into the category of competition truck if I wasn't having the issues that I was having with Leah right now um, I probably wouldn't do this but it is what it is I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone it's fine <laughs> but anyway I'm going to shut the hell up. Let's start tearing this beautiful HSP bundle kit off. We have our adapter on here from Merchant Automotive for our fuel pressure gauge. So we are going to be installing this uh, push lock T um, over there next to the hot side. Uh, and then we're gonna end up moving this back. Yes, I know there's some wiring hanging out here, but we're I've held off on taking care of all that because I knew we were gonna be doing this little project here. Also, um, when I got my HSB kit, it was set up for the wrong Y bridge. Uh, no fault of anybody. We're a little more torn down. Uh, broke some stuff loose. Uh, tool cart is doing great. So far, I haven't had to grab anything from the big box the big box is open because the stereo is up in the hutch but unfortunately we have to stop and i will catch up with you guys later tonight after work um it'd be about midnight so that's kind of why i pre-broke some shit loose so now we don't wake up my neighbor i like that one over there so anyway i will see you guys later tonight
All right, guys, at one point or another, the battery on this died and it quit recording. So uh, I don't know exactly when, how much footage I have or how much I don't have. But we got everything here, everything here deleted. What does suck, though, is losing that little guy right there, that little Schrader valve. But, I mean, we're still going to be keeping track of fuel pressure anyway with a gauge. But, it, uh, I tell you what, now that, now that this is opened up here uh, in the valley, it's even more opened up. So, at least out of all of this, you know, we, we gained some space out of the deal. Ten after one, it's, it's been a long one. Um, I'm, I'm ready to go to bed. Um, but we'll, we'll pick this back up tomorrow. I'm going to do it in a separate video because uh, this one's already rambled on long enough. I'm pretty sure it's more just me talking than any action happening. But we... Uh, we're, we're going to keep trucking. The tool cart, the roll cart, I only had to pull two things out of it. Or, sorry, out of the toolbox that I didn't have. Uh, Allen keys, which I need to buy those anyway. I need a couple sets of those. My light's dying. Um, and a longer extension, which, again, I got to get its extension. So, I'm super stoked about it. So, moving forward, I think what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reroute the PVC lines on this as well. Um, these ones are pretty checked, and I, I think I'm just going to put an actual catch can on the truck. It's got over 450,000 miles, so, I mean, there is some blow-by. I'm not light on the thing when I do drive it, so, and you can bet your ass during competition, I'm not going to be light on it. So, Anyway, that's it. That's what I got for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It really, really does help me out. Uh, to those of you guys that aren't subscribed, they keep coming back. I appreciate you. I do, but, you know, like, hit that for me, man. It, it helps out tremendously. So, anyway, take care, guys. God bless. Be good to one another. We'll see you on the next one. Be safe.